手に入れる時が Hi, I'm Johan Yusuf. I'm a singer as well as a stage performer. And I've been performing on stage for about 19 years, almost close to 19 years. So next year, 2020, is going to be my 20th year as a performer.、Uh, it's something that, I've been really, that I'm really passionate about, something that,、uh, that drives me to succeed every single day. Well, for now,、um, I've released a few digital cover albums which you can find on Spotify, on iTunes, even Amazon Japan, Google Play, KK Box. You know, I've released four digital albums so far and two physical albums, all under a Japanese recording label for which I auditioned for. Thankfully, they accepted my audition, so I got to release some stuff with them. To be honest,、um, I actually got this. Inspiration, or I would say encouragement from my mom because my mom used to be a well known dancer back in the day. She used to do musical productions, she used to do a lot of theatre, she used to participate on TV shows as well, dancing with so many legendary artists in Malaysia as well. It's exciting nowadays whenever I perform on stage. I mean, I try not to forget where I came from, where my roots were. Each time I'm up on stage, it's like The best time of my life to be able to perform on stage and seeing everyone cheering and smiling that means the whole world to me. The demand for some of, the, some of these performers are quite high, and sometimes it comes to a point where I end up getting shafted away, and in the, in the end, I don't get selected to perform at this event or that event. So it's a bit of a struggle for me to try and get my bearings right. Any Mangaki, one of the biggest anime events in Malaysia. And I didn't get to be selected to perform on that event because I didn't get to the audition stage for my performance slot application. Rather than being bitter about it, I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna work hard at it so I can go back onto that stage again someday. So I pretty much sort of like reinvented myself a bit. Uh, discover new songs to learn, discover new material to dive myself into. And the next thing I know, I ended up going back on that stage and performing it, performing on the Anime Mangaki stage again. I set a goal for myself for one year <laughs> and I managed to achieve it just by working hard. And to me, as long as you can work hard and you don't give up and you still carry on burning that passion, anything is possible. It's actually my fourth time performing in Singapore, and Singapore has now become like my second home for performances, aside from Malaysia, of course. It was also my first EOI, so I wasn't too sure what to expect. But、um, I had an amazing, amazing weekend, and the day I performed, and I'll never forget that day, I went up on stage, and immediately the crowd was really cheering and chanting for me, and that warmed my heart. I mean, I'm just this Malaysian boy who's just going down to Got down to my neighbor, trying to seek out opportunities and expand my horizons, and to get the warm, friendly greeting that I got from not just the crowd but my fellow performers.、Uh, it is indescribable. I don't know how, how best to put it in words. Success is a very subjective thing. I think success would be being able to accomplish and achieve in what you love to do more than anything else. It can be singing, it can be acting, it could even be, it could be sport. So, when you are able to achieve something that you love to do, and you go on and make it more than a hobby, not just more than a passion but a career, that is success already. Always believe in yourself and know your worth because once you know what you're good at, what you're capable of doing, anything is possible. Push yourself forward as much as you can. Don't ever give up.